Welcome to the easy subnetting chart, subnetting cheat chart. So in the exam you can draw some lines on your little board that they give you, a little white whiteboard. And you just start off in the top right hand column with number 1 and you keep doubling it until you get to the number 128. So this will be one octet, which is eight binary places. So these are the only possible values for each subnet. And then in the left hand column you will start off with the first value to, if you like, you can put a tick in the 1 to 8 column, which, as you can uh, clearly see here, gives you 128. Add 64, gives you 192. And we keep ticking along each column until we get to the end. So these are our possible subnet values, and hopefully these numbers in the left column will look familiar to you. Now this is just how to actually write the column. You won't be ticking along the top when, you, uh, when you've got used to writing out this particular chart. And this will allow you to, using the tick system, answer any subnetting question or any network design question quickly in your exam. So we get to 255, which is the last possible value. Now in the bottom, this is our design area, which we'll refer to if we're asked how many subnets or how many hosts. And all we do is add the powers of 2 together. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, all the way down. You'll stop until you get to the uh, relevant number for whatever question you're being asked. For this example, I'm just going to stop at 256, but obviously you could keep going. Now there's two columns we're going to need here. One for our subnets and one for our hosts. And we have to take two away for our host value. One for the subnet and one for the broadcast. Alright, so that's the end of the chart. Thanks for watching.